Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tony here, your host, coming back with a brand new COC episode. It is a beautiful day outside, I've just woken up a couple of moments ago, and I thought to myself, you know what, why don't we do an early episode for all of you to see? So this is going to be part two of the huge gem spree covering all of the new features inside of the new COC update. As you can see, we've still got 25,000 gems inside of our storage, and we're pretty much going to be gemming all of the features which we missed from part one. So part one was recorded and uploaded yesterday. Please feel free to go and check that out after this episode. So one quick announcement, I would like to say a massive, massive thank you from the bottom of my heart, guys. We've just surpassed 790,000 subscribers. Do not forget, we are giving away $1,000 in prizes on the last day of October this month if we manage to reach 850,000 subs. So if you want the chance to win $1,000, guys, $1,000. All you need to do is sub to the channel right now, hit that sub button guys, drop a like on this episode just to show some support to the channel, and on the 30th of this month, I will give away a thousand dollars. So since I stopped recording yesterday, we actually done some additional upgrades. We started to upgrade the brand new dragon to level 6, that's going to take 13 days and 13 hours, but of course, this is YouTube. There's no such thing as waiting that long, we are going to be gemming that very, very shortly. We also upgraded 3 three of those brand new level 9 Teslas, they are also going to take a very long time, but as I said, it's YouTube guys, we're not waiting for that, and we are also going to be trying these new Teslas out in a troll base very shortly, so drop us up to the channel if you want to see that, that is going to be awesome. And on top of that, we also started to build the second bomb tower, so that is going, the first one is currently level 2 inside of the center so we have loads of gems to spend we may as well get into this video we are also most likely going to be going and testing the baby dragon against the big dragon near the end of this episode guys so stay tuned for that we are also going to gem the baby dragon then of course so let's get right into it and i'm going to start by buying this resource value pack guys check that out 99 cent we get 80 gems and we get 2 million loot that is a bargain let's get it so for those of you that are actually wondering, Supercell is offering us these on a regular basis now, these resource packs, and they are so cheap. Check it out, if we go into the shop and we go into the treasury, you can see 99 cents, you only get 80 gems. I just paid 99 cents, I got 80 gems, a million gold, and a million elixir. And a million gold is actually going to cost you 600 gems. So this is basically just offering us so much loot right now, and I'm not really sure if this is going to continue. I don't know how long Supercell is going to keep this inside of the game, but I think the reason why they have actually done this and brought these value packs into COC is because I believe Supercell actually want the new players to catch up with the, uh, you know, the, the OGs of the game. The people who have been playing the game for years have so many maxed out bases right now. And the new players are like noobs, obviously, Tano 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and even Tano 7. So Supercell pretty much wants these, uh, these lower Town Hall levels to reach higher Town Hall levels as quick as possible. And in order to do that, they've basically given us, you know, some free, you know, free loot, which is awesome. So yesterday I asked you, what do you want me to upgrade to max level? And the majority of you said the dragon. So you know what? We are going to get straight into it. There we go. Maxed out dragon. And we're going to start to upgrade the baby dragon straight away. But of course, as I said... This is YouTube, let's get the second dragon gemmed as well. So just before we gem the baby dragon as well, we are actually going to create ourselves an army of dragons and baby dragons, and then we're going to go and test them out to see which one is actually better. Just before we do, I want you to tell me down below, so we may not actually gem the Teslas to max level, we may allow them to upgrade. Here's what I want you to do, every single one of you go down below into that comment section and let me know what troll base do you want to see. Do you want to see an expo troll base? I will gem all four of the expos to level 5. Or do you want to see a Tesla troll base? All of the Teslas will be gemmed to level 9. So go down below, comment hashtag expo if you want to see an expo troll base. Or comment hashtag Tesla if you want to see a Tesla troll base. Go down below guys, it will take you a couple of seconds. Don't forget to drop a like on this episode just to show some support to the channel. So let's go into the barrack and we're going to build ourselves an army. So those brand new level 6 dragons, I'm not sure if we're going to have to buy ourselves some uh some actual elixir soon but we're gonna bring five of them is that five no wait no there we go we're gonna bring six that's gonna take up half the trooping spaces so that's gonna cost us 32 gems but let's see what they whoa they look awesome okay yeah they look absolutely awesome i'm not gonna lie that is probably my new favorite looking troop inside of the game supercell have done an awesome job on the color scheme on the wings wow okay yeah that looks pretty damn dope 
every single dragon level that we receive when the uh when supercell you know incorporates a new one into the game just looks better and better but now it's time to get ourselves into the baby dragons so we're actually going to jam ourselves the baby dragons before we upgrade them just to see what they look like before and see what they look like after so there we go those are the are they level five i haven't even jammed them to level five they're not level five hold on Wait, they're level 4. Okay, so they're level 4 baby dragons. I don't remember level 4 baby dragons having pink wings. Maybe Supercell's just changed the look at them at level 4 as well. But there we go, guys. Level 4 baby dragons. That is what they look like. So now let's gem them to level 5 and see if it makes a difference. So, 1863 gems later. What do they look like? Yeah, they look the exact same. Did, they, did, they, did their tongue just change color? I really don't even know. I'm sure they look the exact same. So what we're going to do, this is going to be uh, the most fair test possible. We're actually going to attack Sherbet Towers with Baby Dragons and Big Dragons. But we're going to do it in a way which makes it completely fair. Just before we do, we're going to bring each one, one Rage Spell each and one Heal Spell each. Now, no heroes are going to be used inside of this attack. This is going to be Dragons and Dragons only. Then after this, we're going to bring an all Baby Dragon army, then an all Big Dragon army. Then we're going to spend some more loot, we're going to spend some more gems. I believe we're actually going to be upgrading these bomb towers to max level, guys. So stay tuned, this episode is only going to get better. We are not even getting started with the new features we have received inside of this update. So here we go, into Sherbet Towers. Now the way we're actually going to do this, we're going to drop all the big dragons off on this side, then all the baby dragons off on this side. Now this base is symmetrical, which means it's going to be completely fair. I don't know which one's going to do the best, but there we go, big dragons are in. Baby dragons are in and of course we got the rage spells and the heal spells the first rage spell is going to go down on each side We then have the heal spells to go as well. So we're going to drop the heal spells off. You know what pretty um I was gonna say pretty early, but we're actually gonna we're actually gonna hold the heal spells Okay, so the dragons down the bottom arm are, are getting a bit of a beat down We still have the heal spells remaining. You know what? Let's see if we can get both dragons inside of the heals Let's see if we can do this. So not one dragons made it into the heal spell yet here we go. Now they're making it into the heal spell. That first air defense over there is going to go down. So it's looking pretty damn close right now. I'm not going to lie. These dragons looking uh, relatively close to each other. There are still two big dragons remaining. But there are also three baby dragons. So it's head to head right now. There goes one of the last remaining big dragons. But there is still one in the center. It's going to be all down to this baby dragon to save the big dragon. Can he do it? No. And the baby dragons take the victory for that first test against sherbet tower was interesting definitely interesting i was expecting the big dragons to do a little bit better but there we go guys there we go the uh, the big dragons and the baby dragons definitely looking pretty damn awesome so we're going to gem ourselves up another army then we're going to go in for a live attack this time we're going to attack some random person's base do not forget guys please let me know in that comment section would you want me to gem the Teslas to max level, or would you like me to gem the Expos to max level? And of course, make a troll base out of it. Let me know as quick as you can, because I am going to make that video uh, very shortly on the channel. I'm going to actually make an awesome troll base, and I want to see what these, uh, these new kind of defense levels can do against some awesome troop attack strategies. So there's nothing currently inside of the research center. We have maxed out all of the brand new troops. The level 7 wizards, the level 5 baby dragons, and the level 5, sorry, the level 6 big dragons. If we go across into the spell factory, you can see there are a few variety of different spells we can upgrade. But we're actually going to send the new skeleton level, new skeleton spell, sorry, to level 4. So that's going to completely max out the skeleton spell. Now the reason why we're doing that, for those of you that don't know, the skeleton spell has been buffed and it now creates a load more uh, a load more skeletons it creates 26 skeletons in total meaning if we bring 11 of them we are going to be sending in 286 skeletons onto the map add 20 witches to that that is going to be over 500 skeletons so we're going to try that shortly in another episode stay tuned for that as i said guys there are so many features for us to you know test out inside of this uh this this week this next month it's going to be awesome so this time we're going to try these uh these baby dragons and the uh the big dragons out together inside of a multiplayer attack but we're actually going to be oh we have no elixir hold on let's go into the shop guys let's go and buy ourselves uh let's go for five million elixir we're going to gem ourselves up a couple of dragons but we're actually going to be bringing we're going to bring two lava hounds as well because i haven't really used off lava hounds in a long time and they're maxed out they're maxed out lava hounds let's brew ourselves some spells gonna go with a triple rage uh triple rage spell we'll go with a freeze spell actually you know what triple rage triple freeze and a haste that should be a cool combo 
So now we just need to gem ourselves up the heroes. So the uh, the queen's ready, the grand warden, and the king are ready. That is what I like to see, guys. Of course, we didn't even use them inside of the previous attack. So here we go. We're about to test out the new troops. Let's just get a screenshot of them in case we want to use it inside of the thumbnail. Level 6 dragons, level 5 baby dragons, and of course, those OG level 4 completely maxed out lava hounds. So let's see what kind of loot's available. Let's see what kind of bases are available. And let's see whether these dragons have cojones and are going to be able to do some decent damage to the base. So check this out, we've just landed on this Town Hall 11, and I've never seen this before. This guy is upgrading three, not one, not two, but three of his air defenses. Look at that, they don't even load the actual, uh, the little artillery things into them anymore. Three of them are upgrading to max level, and he's got one maxed out level defense over there. Now obviously he does also have the Eagle Artillery and a multi-target Inferno Tower. Single target over there, so we're going to attack from this side of the base, kind of in this, uh, this direction. Now how are we going to start this off? We're going to drop in a couple of baby dragons there. Then we're going to spam these big dragons, the Grand Warden, the King, and the Queen into the center. There go the baby dragons, and we're going to drop in two Lava Hounds nice and early. So we're going to get the Haste spell going in first, a Rage spell over on the right hand side. Going to pop the Grand Warden's ability nice and early. Going to be dropping down a free spell on the Eagle Artillery and the Moldy Target Inferno Tower. Here we go guys, starting to uh, slowly make our way into the base. There goes the King's ability. Lava Hounds have been raged up. Going to drop down the second free spell on these defenses. As long as we can take out the Eagle Artillery and the Inferno Tower, we should be in for a treat. Here we go, guys. They've gone down very early. Now we're going to drop down another Rage spell into the center. Can we get the Town Hall? That multi-target Inferno Tower, sorry, the single target Inferno Tower is actually going to be the trickiest defense in the base, guys. But we got the one star. Unfortunately, the, uh, the Queen hasn't gone towards the center. So we arrived on the Town Hall, but we did not have the troop power. The funneling wasn't the best. This is going to be a very high percentage attack. But it doesn't look like we're going to be getting that Town Hall unless we can get lucky and these dragons and the queen swing into the center. Now, I should have probably uh, waited with the heroes and brought some wall breakers. But I wanted to do a couple of tests inside of this episode. That single target Inferno Tower proving to be the trickiest defense of all. Maybe I should have taken that out first, guys. But it doesn't matter. It is all for fun. We have received a 100% loot bonus. Those level 6 dragons definitely looking uh, pretty damn dangerous. And I'm sure they can even do some damage inside of clan walls. So let's just end that battle there. No point carrying it on, guys. We didn't really grab too much loot. But as I said, it's not really about the loot inside of these episodes. These are just kind of tests. And we're just running these troops to see what they're actually capable of. So we're going to gem... We're going to actually, what is that? What, what builder do we need to free up? So we got three builders working on the Tesla Towers. We got one working on the new level bomb tower, well, the new defense in general, the bomb tower. And then the uh, the final the final builder is, I believe, where is he? I have absolutely no idea where the final builder is. I'm sure I'll find him in a couple of moments. So we're going to end this episode here, guys. I will be back in a couple of hours time for another one. Have a great day. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Peace out.